45 years after David Bowie first sang about life on Mars, a new exhibition at the Design Museum is exploring the challenges humans might face if we lived on the red planet. There's the lethal space radiation we'd have to cope with, harsh temperatures and dust storms. Not to mention sourcing our own water and growing our own food. Pulling the mission off isn't only going to require a giant leap forward in space travel, it's going to have to be humanity's greatest feat in design. Living in an inflatable pod under a cave might take a little bit of getting used to. As for the inside, well, an estate agent might say it's cosy. There's a little workshop here that we have, so if you want to do some work here, you can do that. This design was produced by a team of architects as part of a challenge set by NASA. On Earth, we have magnetic poles, which means all the radiation gets deflected off. On Mars, it's going to hit us. It's going to be very dangerous. So the best thing to do is live almost in a cave. So this cave is really where the shell structures will be 3D printed by the robots that you see moving around, along there. Designs like these are a persuasive argument that we could eventually find a way to live on Mars, but not everyone's convinced we should. We have this wonderful piece in the exhibition, which is a new commission by Alexandra Daisy Ginsberg, who's a young designer, and she said very openly, I think, you know, this is a, it's a supreme arrogance on the part of humans to think of Mars as belonging to us and as the sort of plan B in case something terrible happens here on Earth. And her proposal is to not treat Mars as a lifeboat for humans, but as a lifeboat for non-human forms of life, like bacteria and plants. About a hundred times further away than the moon, but arguably one of the biggest obstacles we face comes down to something rather more basic. Going to Mars is a very expensive proposition and it means that the governments around the world will, come, will have to come together and say it's something we want to do together. And I, you know, at the moment we don't show many signs of working together very well internationally. Finding the money will be crucial, but the hope is in pushing ahead with design ideas it should make it a little easier to persuade people it's a journey worth making. Katie Spencer, Sky News.